restoration. My name is Fabiola Alaniz, and I am the daughter of a wonderful father called Benjamin Jimenez. His cancer is mesothelioma. Today we had received some very um, discouraging news as he was hoping to get a surgery to get his lung removed and um, possibly, you know, be done with this whole situation with the cancer. And thank the Lord that wonderful people just came to us today and, and specifically with a situation similar to what we're going through today. Pastor Mike was here and I believe it was the work of the Lord doing that for us to inject us with some more of that hope that he always knows how to bring back to us. Um, every time we feel like, you know, the doors are shutting on us, he brings someone wonderful or he brings wonderful news to bring us up again and to let us know that this battle, we're not fighting it that long. That to us is a testimony that he's wanting to do the same thing in our lives, not just for my father, but for us as a family so that we will give him all the praise and all the glory that his holy name deserves. And so I thank the Lord for every person he brings into our lives with prayer, with hope, because he is truly showing how amazing and how much love he has for all of us. And our strength is in him. If God is with us, who dare to You take the ball, turn it into dancing. You take the silence, turn it into joy. You take the morning, turn it into dancing. Come and touch us, God. You take the weeping, turn it into life. Say, don't worry, God is going to provide everything that you can. Because it's like if she knows what is happening. Because even though you're laying in this bed, the Lord still provides. He is our Savior, our Healer, our Deliverer, our Provision. He is our all in all. Mm -hmm. And Benjamin, I thank God for your faith, and the faith of your daughter and your wife. And you have encouraged us to have hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. I've taken my faith. I've taken my